it was probably required reading for you in middle school, but this week a wrinkle in time hits the big screen with some pretty big buzz surrounding it. The classic fantasy novel comes to life with some incredible cinematography, but doesn't live up to expectations. Joining us now is book critic Gwen Reyes, also of FreshFiction.com. Gwen, thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Alicia. So we saw the film. We did. We got to see it together. It was I loved it, but I have to ask you, as the critic that mm -hmm. you are, you have a critical eye. What'd you think about it? I, you know, overall, I thought it was a very enjoyable film. Okay. But I do, for me, I felt like it was not as nuanced as a lot of Disney films tend to be, mm -hmm. where you're kind of reaching into an audience of adults and children. This one really plays for the 11 to 14 year old girl. I felt, and I also think it's very reminiscent of like a bigger budget Disney Channel mm -hmm. film, and that was kind of I felt the biggest struggle. But otherwise, I thought it was very enjoyable. It's so interesting that you say that because 11 to 14, yet we're also talking about quantum physics right. and a fantastical universe bringing it to life. There's really complex themes also. Yeah. Do you it's think they actually something. translated well? I don't know. I didn't really feel like they translated that well mm. because um, because it was just, uh, there was so much to do on screen. Okay. And so a lot of those elements were really problematic, but at the same time, they made for really great film and really great entertainment. And I think that might be, might interest a lot of young uh, girls and boys to maybe get more involved in, in STEM research or even um, some more science classes. Also, this book was originally written in the 1960s, but yes. yet there's a very modern interpretation. Mm -hmm. Do you think it gelled well with it having been written way back when, but now we're talking about sort of modern day themes among middle school. You know, school you, it's really interesting that you brought that up because I went, when I went back and re-looked at the, um, the history of the book mm -hmm. and what was fascinating to me was that she wrote it with the idea of it being like a near future. Oh. So it was very translatable on screen that this could be a nearer future, so cur current time. And you know, that makes it so that it's uh, it's um, approachable for all audiences and all ages. Speaking of which, let's talk about the casting a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, my favorite character was Charles Wallace. He oh, was Charles incredible. So what do you think about the casting, the ch uh, the specific characters that they chose, mm -hmm. and even the diversity that we saw within there the casting? There was so too. much diversity yeah. in this film, and there's actual actual conversation within the film about diversity. Mm. Like the main girl, um, Meg, who's played by Storm Reed, she's a newcomer. She actually is constantly approaching by the boy who plays Calvin mm -hmm. and told I love your hair <laughs> and I and like Alicia and I both have very curly hair so that was very surprising that to me because to oh, think wow. if you're a child watching this film and you have beautiful curly hair or you're mixed race or anything and you see these people on screen it's like and you're seeing seeing yourself too. you're yes. completely relatable so I love the diversity in that and actually in the reality the book white family mm. so adding that element Ava DuVernay who was the director mm -hmm. she brought in this element of really kind of capturing the rainbow spectrum of a Americans. I mean, we're running out of time here, but just the rainbow, you say, just speaking to the colors and the beautiful imagery that we mm -hmm. saw. I mean, I thought that was a highlight of the film. Absolutely. For sure. It was so beautiful to watch. I think that that's the best thing about it is that you're going to go have two hours. It's like two and a half hours long. It's a very long <laughs> film, but you're going to have so much fun and it's so pretty. And this is the weekend to see it. Opening yes. weekend, right? Opens Gwen? on Friday. Thank you so much for stopping Thanks, by. Alicia. Always appreciate you coming through. When we come back,